Kevin, I want to go back a little bit and talk about your amazing, amazing movie career because you have been in as you know the movies of my childhood. Right. If you don't mind me naming some for a quick second, you've right. been The Mask, The Hulk, Batman Forever, um, mm. and of course, mm. Underworld. And you were actually a principal writer on, on, on all four of the Underworlds, right? Uh, no, just the first one. The mm. first one, because I came up with the original concept and wrote the original screenplay. Yeah. So can you tell us what, what you know, inspired, you know, Underworld? What, what, what was going through your mind at that time? Well, you know, a couple of things. You know, I had done some interracial dating, you know, that... Um, you know, you always look at this, you know, the stares you get. Um, and then the big one uh, was I've always been a fan of the Universal Monsters. And I remember there were two movies in particular, maybe three, mm -hmm. uh, that I really liked. And that was um, Frankenstein Meets the Wolfman, mm -hmm. and then the House of Dracula, and then House of Frankenstein, mm -hmm. where, you know, you had a three way battle between you know, Frankenstein, Dracula, and the Wolfman. And, you know, I always liked the monster battles. And so I was thinking, you know, no one had ever depicted werewolves and vampires as races of monsters before. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I had this idea, you know, what if, <clears throat> you know, we had this uh, werewolf story, this, um, this cool werewolf story, but instead of you know, and make it like a Romeo and Juliet kind of thing. Mm. But instead of uh, Montagues and Capulets, mm -hmm. you have werewolves on one side, but vampires on the other. And, you know, you kind of make it this surrealistic, um, you know, race war, you know, between these monsters amidst, uh, you know, a backdrop of a centuries old you know, war between the two clans. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I thought that would be interesting and there was a lot of gravitas there, you know, both emotional and action. And, you know, it, it just so happened that it worked out. Yeah, yeah. I definitely yeah. felt um, the Romeo and Juliet in those movies yeah. when I saw them. Uh, that was something I didn't catch on when I was little, <laughs> but that was something that I definitely, yeah. definitely, definitely caught on. 